Hi YouTube. How you doing? It's been a pretty good day. Oh, I got the rest of my plants in today. Winter's coming. It's I don't think it's um going to be above freezing for a few months. We're getting to our zero countdown. <laughs> Isn't it terrible about them uh that caravan coming up through uh Mexico? Um I'm concerned about the people because um, I just feel that the cartel is like involved, you know. And yeah. And I heard Trump say, well, I didn't hear him say, I heard that he said um, uh, that um, Middle Easterners were in there. Well, I don't know so much about that, but. I do know that <clears throat> they more, made it more difficult to get heroin through borders, so um, putting it in people, women, children, everybody, that's a lot of money them people could be carrying up in their persons. The one woman said that her daughter had had heart surgery and that she had suffered on the bridge where they got stopped in Me Mexico. And... Yeah, maybe that wasn't the kind of surgery it was. My heart tells me something different. So, um, anyway. But, yeah, and then I was thinking about the globalists today. They sure didn't get God's permission to try and take over this planet. And people like me with Native American in them, I can tell you right now, um, there's no Native American that's going to be pushed around twice by this shit. I'm telling you that. I know that. That ain't going to happen. They're a sovereign nation to begin with and could make their own money or government, whichever. And furthermore, knowing the law as much as I do, I was thinking to myself, and other people would probably say this is true, that how can you make a treaty with somebody unless you can speak their language? If, they, if you are not articulating the facts, in their language they're not getting the true meaning <clears throat> kind of like the bible you know kind of like the uh masonic uh, blue book and white papers and the rest of the uh sciences and mechanics that they're pushing down our throat that's all bullshit or or um nine tenths of it is bullshit you know so yeah, and then go back to uh, God's first children. Um, did anybody ask these descendants if they can mess with the world? No. Didn't ask God. Didn't get God's permission. So. Yeah. I say, you people believe you're gods. Make your own damn planet and get the hell up off this one. That's my feelings. You know, people like me that actually work the land and build things and know how to do things in life, you know. Um, we don't depend on other people. We make things happen by ourselves. Those kind of people, you know. So, yeah. Um, people that don't believe that there is a God, um, I hope you will search your heart. Because you know you didn't make yourself. And I'm just asking you, search your heart for Christ. That's where he lives. In every man, every woman, every child. So. Yeah, I was reading some jokes last night, but this is not a joke. Uh, um. Getting off on the wrong foot is bad, but stepping on the wrong toes is worse. So, I guess I'll just leave that one there. So, anyway, Og Teles, thank you for popping over. Um, I know where your information comes from, and neither do I believe in shape-shifting or any of the rest of that bullshit. And I don't believe in giants. I don't believe in 
the capabilities of electrogravitics in any nation on this planet. I'm not saying that isn't true, but then <clears throat> if we were going to talk about like Tesla coil or something like that, the coil needs to be contained. I'm just going to leave it there. And I am a mechanic. So, and I do know physics and I do know biology. So, uh, and I do know God. I'll just leave these things there and ask people, search your heart. You know, I tried to talk to you. I was actually going to um, give you some, not advice, but some good information that you could use to survive on um, what people like to call a dimension. <clears throat> There's a lot of misinformation out here, and I'm here to help clear it up. Simple as that. So, my, my truth and my proofs will be from within what people feel in their heart. That's all the proof I need. I don't need to prove anything with any connections or... Um, and as far as being mind controlled, I'll let you know right now that all my life people have tried to control every part of me and <clears throat> there's no part of me that can be controlled. So try it sometime. Try it. You'll like it. Or like, yeah, ask Mikey. <laughs> ask Satan if he can push me around. Nobody can. Well, yeah. And there's another one. Um, I'm not saying all affiliates of Masons and all Masons believe that there's a Satan, but they don't believe there's a God, but a large majority of them do. So, and that's, uh, you can feel it in the air. That's what's coming up. You're going to find out the difference. God made Satan. Do you think he didn't keep all his, uh, or gave all his, I'll kick your ass part. Did he give it all away? <laughs> no. That's ridiculous. Of course he's in control. Just watching everybody do what they will or not. How will, you know, your will is God-given. If, if you can't um, realize that, you will never be able to will anything it'll look like you are because satan will supply that but when that supply is gone shortly coming up here you're going to feel the difference and you better hope god has mercy on your lack of will power so, because mine's the ultimate it is and the reason I know that because I've thought things willed things and they came true and um, this was strictly against anything Satan would ever want you know so it's just like people threaten to put my name out there it's like well yeah do that but you're going to have to ask Satan first and he don't want me out there that big so yeah and that's a fact and I know that bloodline very well. So, yeah. All the banners, all the crests, I can read them. That's what I do. Besides uh, understanding languages, you know, and people within cultures that I understand better than anybody I've ever met. So. Yeah, I'm bragging. I got talents. They're God-given, though. They're not just mine. Everybody, God gives you a certain amount of here you go. And it depends on what you want to do with it. You know? So. I'll tell you what, I'd rather have insight from God than insight from Satan. <laughs> <clears throat> That's why I can uh, rebuild a motor if I wanted to. I mean, I've 
done worked on cars. Yes, I built my own car. But I mean, the reason I can do these things and I have the understanding to bake a loaf of bread or go out in the wild and forage for things that I've studied and different things, but the reasons I have understanding of mechanical and biology and these things is because the great understanding comes from God. And that's a fact. So, and it's not God's plural. I'm not ashamed to say somebody made me. What the hell's the problem with that? You people have mothers and fathers. Are you so ashamed to say, wow, people got it on or made love and here I am? Is that really a major setback? <laughs> you know, not to me it isn't. I'm happy I'm not the oldest one. Like God's older than me, you know. I'm happy about that. Damn. You know, so. Anyway, subs, thanks for being here. I hope your day was wonderful. Like I said earlier, mine was pretty darn good. Got um some outdoor stuff done, and we got more wood to keep building on that chicken coop. So, yeah, it's going to be nice for, like I said, I'll show you when it's completed because um right now it's, I showed you about it, um, a quarter of the way done but I'll show you when it's all done so yeah still kind of planning it's it's the way things have to be when you're sort of remodeling or putting something where something else is and we're building inside my horse's house so it's um um it's like as we go this has to go here this has to go there and that type of thing so it's fun i always like remodeling for that reason too because like even if i had a budget i'd figure something out and make it look beautiful with you know whatever the people had to spend or you know what i had or whatever you know and yeah i was saying i remodeled my own home then it burnt down my lake home that was a bummer yeah, you know, I needed the neighbor's property and they needed mine and I was young and couldn't, well, they wouldn't sell theirs anyway and I couldn't rebuild because I needed more land there. So I had a lot there and I had two lots across where the dock was right across the road, but um, it was such wetland that it would have had to been built up and it still could have flooded. It wasn't safe. There's and I could have kept it for like a camp spot, but that's ridiculous, you know. So, yeah, I had a little baby and I had to move on. <laughs> so, but that was, I still miss that lake so bad. But I want to move up by Lake Superior, the big one, one of these days soon. Probably two years, I'm thinking. Three at the most, but probably two. Somewhere around there. So, up in the mountains. That's really true a lot of it, how I know that God exists. I mean, it is true when you're kind of secluded. Um, you feel more in touch with nature. Well, then you feel who nature is. And that's the bottom line. You know you didn't make no raindrops or trees or flowers or whatever, food, you, you know, other animals, mankind knows that our mind's capabilities aren't of that. So, whether they want to pretend they are or not, maybe they could sacrifice a couple more uh, babies, huh? And drink some blood or whatever for their kundalinis and whatever. Get that luge, right? So you're going to be intelligent. <laughs> Come rebuild a motor with me, but uh, yeah, okay. I'm not even going to go there. The hell with it. <clears throat> Grow a piece of asparagus, see how good you do at farming, you know, raise a chicken, you know, do something with your life besides pretending that you're a god. I can't stand them people like that. It's like unbelievable globalists going to take over the whole world that belongs to God. Is that right? I'm not going to say over my dead body. I'm going to say you better watch out where your bodies fall because God's going to come after your asses. So, 
Time's up. I wasn't going to make this a rant, so, um, yeah, I'll just leave that at that. And probably say peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA, if I think of something else. I did have another topic on my mind, but then I got a little sidetracked. That seemed to happen sometimes when God wants me to say one thing and then something else will come up in there. And it's like, oh, and by the way, Og, tell us, I watched everything on your channel until I got down to the Yellow Rose of Texas and her stuff was so simple. No offense. Um, I'm sure you're a nice person. I'm sure she's a nice lady. It's just that anything that I know that I learned from the Masons in the lodge, sitting down, studying everything after they made me a bride of Satan at 12. But that's another story. But anyway, I decoded the blue book and I know the testament and what it's all about and why it is like it is. So I just, um, heads up, you know, God taught me better. And that's the truth. So that's why I am here. I mean, I've always been telling people all over the place, everywhere I traveled, but um, now with YouTube, this is wonderful. It's like, wow. I have not been overseas. I've been in Canada, Mexico, and all over the United States. I have not been in Washington, Alaska, or Hawaii, but every place else. So, and met a lot of people, talked to a lot of people in my life from all over, you know, and this is even better, <laughs> so, yeah, what a great platform, so anyway, I, I think there, not only is that caravan coming up from Mexico, a political ploy, but it's also cartel related, I'm almost certain, um, there's people that could be very strong people right now that are on heroin and they're trying to get it up in here to destroy some great people. So it's the same with the alcohol and that happens to be free. It destroys a lot of people. That really kind of is the worst thing in the world. I used to drink, but... I started drinking really young, but um, I know what it is. I know what it does. I also am a drug rehab counselor, TMA, and a nurse. So I do have a lot of, I wear a lot of hats. Plus, plus, plus. Been a busy girl. <laughs> Lady, woman, grandma. So. Well, I'll probably leave this one there, everybody. Uh, maybe if I think about what else I was thinking on. Um, the main thing, too, I just wanted to address the fact with them globalists, like um, their bullshit is not going to go over so big. I am uh, personally know so many people that are not going to roll over and play dead, and you can't kill everybody. Once any type of shit starts, and this goes for um, biological warfare too, which I um, have some really close up first hand experience in that area, like you would not believe. So, um, anything they try is going to be thwarted. Um, May not look like it, but nobody real will die. Anybody that's here that is empty or the others will go with God. And it's nothing to boo-hoo about. I'm absolutely elated because I feel this stuff coming down, coming to a head. And I can stand it my whole life. And now something's going to be done about it. So, yeah, I'm happier than hell. May look a little tired, so what? 
you know. I know the sneak suit isn't all there is, but I'm also not just a spectrum of light or a piece of electricity either. And I don't need everybody else's minds to maintain my own existence. So just thought I'd let y'all know that, you know. But it's like having a car never driving before and not getting a manual with it. When you don't have God in your heart, you're driving without a manual. And some cars you wouldn't even be able to start unless you knew where to look for the starter. There's all kinds of weird shit going on. But God's in control. And he showed me things ahead of time. So I'm good to go like that. That's why I am so strong. So in every way. Yeah, I'm a monster. But I'm a good one. So far, so good. You know? But, like Doug said, see you put your death spray in the closet and I said, well, it can come out in a moment's notice. And he said, China would be jealous. I said, China is jealous. When you walk with God, he does make you superhuman. So, and just think, Satan is going to be destroyed. He's not superhuman. He's not human. He's an empty vessel of out of here. And anybody that wants to go inside that container, that's what it's going to feel like. Quick as that. Believe it or not, but if I were you, I would search my soul because you know you didn't make yourself. So just um, consider it. That's about as friendly as I can get for if there's anybody listening affiliated with uh, people that kill people for their own gains. No matter what the tier or what the level or how in cahoots or as I it was um, the correlating people out there in that area. So no matter how you're helping the cause of one versus the cause of many, which is of God. So however you're helping that one entity, you'll have to pay for it. You know? And I would suggest stopping. And if you need God's help, ask. You know, you'll get it. If you really want help to stop doing something stupid, just ask. It works. But you got to mean it, you know. If you know something's happier and better and that's what you want, well, either way, I guess you'll get what you want. Okay, everybody, I love you. Thanks for being here. Um, just had a couple things that I had to address, and I do care about everybody. I love you a bunch. Okay, peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Good night. Good day. Later, everybody.